Blue Iris is awesome. Today, I'm going to show you how to get it working with Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, go to Settings, go over to Integrations, click on Add Integrations, search for Blue Iris. For some reason, when I try to install it, I always get this error. So I'm just going to show you how to do it manually in this video. Jump to Blue Iris and click on the gear icon on the upper left hand corner. Jump to the Digital I.O. and I.O.T. In MQTT, click on Configure. Checkbox Enable. Client ID will be whatever you want. I'm just going to keep a default at Blue Iris. And then give it your MQTT server address. For me, this is the same thing as the Home Assistant server. And then click on OK. Obviously, this will not work if you don't have MQTT installed on your Home Assistant. So be sure to install that on your Home Assistant before we continue further. Now, let's open MQTT Explorer and then connect it to your Home Assistant. Here you can see it's the same thing. The IP address is identical. Username, password is the same. And then click on Connect. Find the topic. In this case, it's Blue Iris or whatever name that you rename it to. If you want, you can click on Test and you will see that something will pop up in the uh, MQTT on this side of the Explorer. There we go. It works perfectly fine. In the MQT Explorer, you can see that there's a test. Blue Iris is now successfully talking with your Home Assistant server. Let's do an example of a camera real quick. Here we have the alley camera. I want to be notified on Home Assistant whenever something happens. So let's right click on the camera. Go to Camera Settings. Go to Alert. Do something by sending an alert to Home Assistant, for instance. So on Alerts, click on it. Plus icon right here. Web request or MQTT. In the description, you can name it whatever you want. I have mine as MQTT on. The MQTT topic will be the blue iris, the camera name, and then the status. The payload will be on. And then click on OK. Click on OK again. Click on Reset plus icon. Go down to MQTT. Send off will be almost exactly the same thing. This time the trigger will be off in the message. So what happened is that if something happened in the camera, it will send a on in the MQTT. When that thing stops moving around or nothing happens in the camera anymore, it will send an off message. That way Home Assistant will know if something happens on and if something stops happening in off. And then you can set up automation accordingly. Personally, I have AI detections all set up in this uh, Blue Iris configuration. So that's why in my on alert, you'll see that the AI object is person. It's filtering out person. I don't really care about motion like leaves blowing back and forth. I only care about person. So that's why it's filtered out. Here in the off alert, we can see the same filter as well as person. When no person is detected in the camera, it's going to turn to off. I'm going to show you how to do this AI detection in the next video. But for now, we're going to keep it really basic, which is simple motion. Oh yeah, be sure that you're in the trigger tab of the camera settings and checkbox this, the motion sensor. So whenever there's any motion detected, it will send the MQTT. You can configure how sensitive the motion sensor is by clicking on configure and play around with all of these settings. In the zones and hotspot, you can edit as well. Here you can see that all of the green areas are the uh, places that the uh, BI will detect. Hold down the control button on your keyboard to blank it all out if you need it. And then let go of the control button so you can paint it more green. Like so. Change the brush size if you want. I'm going to delete that so I'm going to hit down control. And then click to get rid of it. Now let's go ahead and jump into your Home Assistant config folder and then edit the configuration file. I'm editing it using Notepad, but you can edit in the Home Assistant itself as well. Let's go down to the MQTC section. Here are some of the cameras I'm using in Blue Iris. So we have the back camera to view the back door. This name can be anything that you want. The unique ID has to be unique. The state topic will be exactly the same as before. It will be Blue Iris slash the camera name and then the status. The payload on is on, the payload off is off. Device class is motion. The value template is exactly this. 
I'll have all of this in the uh, video description below for you to just copy and paste. There's no need for you to memorize anything. So all of these are basically binary sensor. On, something happens in the camera. Off, when something doesn't happen in the camera anymore. Let's see what all of this looks like in the Home Assistant. So we can go to Developers Tools, click on States, filter it by Blue Iris. And here you can see all of my cameras and the status. Right now nothing is happening, so that's why it's all off. So let's do a real quick demo. Here's the uh, cameras in the kids room. I walk into the room and it takes about two or one and a half seconds for it to turn to on. And when I walk out, it was about two seconds and it turned to off. Awesome. I right, hopefully this video helps you on how to set up the alerts straight to Home Assistant and set up automation that way. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.